the fuck is this tall in this damn thing? Are you streaming yet, or can they see I am streaming. Like, I'm streaming. Shit. I am oh. definitely streaming. <laughs> I was gonna look to the EFB for the flight plan stuff, and then I remember just how depressed I am. Not working. I want to know that the whole plane doesn't have fucking like 3 megabits of bandwidth. My favorite one is not installed. Now, how now? Why is my alternate con? I want to fly there. I want to go to interior. Alright, that's our flight plan in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fuck, do you put this thing back in kilograms? Uh, I think it's in options. Yeah. It's in game, the setup and options. Someone there? That's what I thought, yeah. Okay, let's see.
Server USA East not found. Hmm. Phenomenal. I know what Twilight forces you to close them. Then to Las Vegas and then Las Vegas to LAX, right? Yeah. Alright, I've got all my shit in. I'm gonna start. Doing all the bullshit. What? I'm gonna start up my plane and all that, or I'm at least I'm gonna start getting ready. That's where you need to be a feel good streamer so you got more views. You're right, very feel good. Well, that's just because I was reading. Alright, so. No curse words a lot. I'm at three zero. 
What if it wants to lock? What's up? We're flying into her. Are we flying into the winds or? We're flying um, into the winds. AP on, AP freeze on. Remember when I told you that uh, I would love for Microsoft to go back and uh, redo the, all the old airports that didn't switch to your Microsoft like some? That yeah. Would be they actually said in the death stream, in one of the death streams, you were thinking about doing that. I'm really hoping that actually turns into an update series simply dedicated for like major international airports around the world. Well, that'd be really nice. Start my pushback. Cockpit to ground. This is ground. Stand by. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your friend.
didn't even line us up. But that is okay. Somebody just deployed it. At least according to Valenta. Do something. Nice. We like a no. good departure. Mm hmm? I said we'd like a good departure. Oh shit, we do have. If I was the tool where pushback that would make it so there's like a one in one thousand chance that every time he says uh, have a good flight, the tug, you would respond with you too by accident. <laughs> uh, I would be the type of person to do that shit. How did I almost forget that? Altimeter? Fucking barometer, yeah. Yeah. Alright, I think. Lamps gear, parking brake, transponder only. I'm already toxing. I don't know about you. I'm starting one right now. You know the one so so far, taxi to runway two five, bumper traffic. Denver traffic southwest 3531 taxiing runway 25. I'm gonna enable, I need to remember to enable this. I came over on fucking what's it called, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, okay. I heard you. I know last time we did this, it didn't hear me. Why did it take this taxi away? I see one. you up there. The airport is so big in the terminal, so actually fairly small.
This is some good sounds from FST Assault Hill. Gotta say. Oh yeah, dude, the giant earth drop is gone. The what? Oh, yeah. I just never even knew it was there. It had Denver since day one. I forgot the rudder changes happened to this thing. Or not the rudder, the, uh, the nose wheel changes, yeah. Is that you turning back on to golf right now? Yeah. Taxiing, flaps five, taxi lights. Engine's over to continuous. LAX Center got off, but I still have it tuned with the hopes that he comes back. That they even fixed the bridge over here as well. What was wrong with it before? Uh, it just was like weird looking. Kind of thought that uh, that's not the United Terminal because they fucking love passing under bridges. Where's the config button on this thing again? What do you mean? Doesn't this thing have a takeoff config button? It's just when you go all the way when you It's just the... when you throttle the toga, it'll scream yeah. at you. Yeah, that's right. Point is poor. Oh, it's poor. What am I? I mean, all the terrain around here is at war with itself, but at least the taxiways aren't as scuffed anymore. <laughs> oh, I know there's a little bit. United 1605, lining up in 1025 for immediate departure. Terrain. Terrain. RTO, flaps 5 on the Vena. I'm so hoping my MD-11 comes out next month, dude. <laughs> my NFT. Denver traffic, Southwest 3531, lining up point, runway 25.
Traffic Southwest 3531, departing runway 25. Dude, they left the pedo tube covers on. What the fuck? Bruh. Are you using the. Uh, did you download the library from the op center or are you using one from Flex and TL? I'm one from TL. Who made it? Javiation. Like that guy? Exactly. Oh, Yubi probably makes my favorite one, so he, he puts on, it, like, extra details, like, more rabbits and stuff in places where it should be. Or stuff that don't have them. It's not. The only thing you thought about when taking off was that, um, I think in the late 2000s. Before the United, no, before the United and United Continental merger, which we got the new United livery from, there was a Continental crash with a 737-500 equipped with blended winglets on uh, Denver that crashed because the winds aloft did not report any gusts. There was no way of knowing there was any gusts at uh, sure. Denver because of the equipment they used. You would think an airport located between so many mountains would have some sort of equipment for that. Yeah, uh, takes a failure to know a failure, I guess. And that is us passing 10,000 chat out of beautiful Denver. First stop on this leg today going to be Las Vegas and then a second stop which will finish out the stream in Los Angeles, California at the beautiful Ine LAX. Sometimes I forget how beautiful this sim really is. Shut up. That should be a band playing on it, but... 
Dude, that's probably gonna be like the first emote if I get more than like five subs. Sometimes I forget. Yep. failure simulation stream. Mm -hmm. hey, let me do an engine failure in this stupid card. I love I think, how every single month they just keep playing me the GTA 500, 500, 500 I'm Right. Like <laughs> I come back and I have like 20 million dollars. <laughs> it's like every time I show up on Destiny all I do is spend time at the fucking uh, the trader's office. Oh, she died. I know, um, I... Oh wait, she? I thought you were talking about Commander Zavala, Lance Riddick. No, the, 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 the actual character died. The one who gives you that stuff. Now you get it from... Oh, uh, god. Riddick. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Now it's not even the same person. How they fucked me. <laughs> that's actually a tragedy. <laughs> Why'd they kill her? Story. Bad story. She literally just died this week, that's why I wasn't on earlier. I was doing the story mission. I assumed she would die. I mean, I assumed because they read the leaks and they said they, she died in there, so. Fair. I love spoiling myself on a story base. Just anything, really. <laughs> I don't know why, I just don't care about it. I'd rather spoil myself going into it. Nah, I still, I like to experience it for the most part, but sometimes I can't be bothered to wait. I, I do agree with that. Strong Wood 4 on, uh, streaming or it's only in cinemas, I don't know. I think it's only in cinemas. Oh, I don't want to go outside, I'm going to be forced to have sunlight touch my skin. Eighteen thousand, yes sir, yes sir. Absolutely gorgeous airframe, absolutely gorgeous livery there. That's hard to for Southwest Airlines. Still have 700 left in mine. Silence. Re How many auxiliary fuel tanks do you have, huh? Some bitch? None? Yeah, because I'm in an 800. That's in my point. The Southwest? No, Southwest does fly to Vegas. Yeah, Southwest flies to a lot of places in the southwest. Southwest, southwest does fly to Honolulu. No, 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 they fly to Fog, actually. To where? Fog. Maui. Oh. Actually, they... I know there's a couple southwest routes to Hawaii. I don't know if there's any to Honolulu, but I know for sure there's some to Fog and uh, the other one. 
the three big oh, ones. No. Honolulu. I don't know about whole Honolulu, but I mean fog and whatever. I think fog is kind of what. I thought uh, Brooks have uh, rats oh, to Honolulu. Honolulu. Oh. Yeah, dude, 74 knot headwind. I do not want to fly from Miami to, uh... Southwest makes first Hawaii flight within 2019. My fucking god, I have to pay for this shit. This is why I just sees 12 foot aisle. <laughs> Give me a paywall and I'll just climb over it. That's oh, right. And hello, hello to anyone stopping by. This is Southwest Flight 3531 service to Las Vegas International Airport with a follow up flight from Las Vegas International Airport to Los Angeles International Airport. For all of you stopping by today, thank you, thank you, thank you, as your support means a lot to me. And enjoy the flight. I'm back. I'll just be periodically deafening and not. So. I don't know, you have an overlay on like 90% of the time, don't you? Mm -hmm. uh, you not on the mic no, I don't blame you for flights, I mean, ruins pictures. No, it's more because I'm afraid of what I'll do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every perf begins with K. Southwest with Big Honolulu, act service to my... I'll honestly just say, yeah, they do. I can't seem to find anything concrete. I mean, I don't know, just Google flight from, like, LAX to Phoenix on Southwest Airlines or some shit. Or LAX to Honolulu. Oh, Won't let me put in any other city other than Miami and Fort Lauderdale. So. I'm gonna get this arrival plugged in here. We're the Chow to. Oh yeah, I forgot. Everything's basically landing in the west, so we just straight in. Yeah, okay, they have got 200 little. That is surprising. Oh, so I could I thought they did, but I knew I knew for sure they had them to PHOG. For an airline called Southwest, they fly in a lot of areas that are the Southwest. Yeah, the Caribbean, Mexico. Well, I mean, Mexico's the Southwest, but. They do international? Like, local, international. They go to Mexico, Cancun, and shit, yeah? Mm. So I'm saying. Southwest isn't too terrible of an altitude. Oh, hold on. I'm hoping that water bit is, uh... Mexico? Sure. Mexico and Central America. They, they have... I don't want them to jam Central America into any other country because I want Central America to get a little more attention. I'd rather have it be, like, Mexico and then a whole other patch for Central America and then, like, Brazil, Colombia, you know, whatever the fuck else you want to do up there. There aren't that many airports in uh, Central America. There's, like, four notable ones that say this. Tonkin Chi, closed. Or at least not an international airport anymore, it's only Jet Ab. Uh, after that, let's see, there's the new airport that they built to replace it by Medola. Mm -hmm. After that, there's like Document, there's uh, Amrock in Costa Rica, then there's uh. What's the arrival chat to ILS? When it comes to bigger airports, that is. So basically, other than a good Mexico City, Cancun, Guadalajara, Palmarola, and Document, it's not really that many airports you can really want. Also, my god, we are literally flying two knocks away from the goddamn red bar. Yeah. Um, by the way, your arrival info is going to be Chow 2 ILS 26 left or right, GG app. And then uh, transition on Prino. Oh, okay, you already got it all in. Nice. All right, and with that in mind, we are going to grab the. What time is it? Two nineteen from May. Okay, yeah, uh, the altimeter would have. Normally, the stuff updates between like. Whatever, like 
twelve oh eight and twelve like twenty, you know, like just within that time frame of every hour for the ATIS. So if we were closer to the reset, I wasn't gonna bother checking it out, but it'll probably still be relevant when we land in. One hour forty, probably. An hour forty. I'd say so. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, it says our estimated time of arrival, and I run it. I think Volante uses the local time of your simulator instead of the Zulu time, which is annoying. At least for the overlay that I'm looking at. Some really good South America scenery that just recently came out and had to buy it. I saw that. I don't know what I'm going to do next after LAX, after Honolulu to LAX. Ah, whatever. Go to Tahiti. Plan. No, I'm doing hub to hub, and United, United doesn't have a hub in Hawaii. Time to fly, um... So yeah, and there's no worthwhile long bo wide bodies to really fly over there besides the A310, and there's no useful airlines that really well, flew even, It's not even hub to hub, it's more like, um, a major international airport. At least three hours away to a uh, major international airport. At least three hours away, except for this flight. Um, so I'd probably do LAX to something in the northwest side of. Se I don't know how. I don't, how often do you see United flight to Seattle? Out of uh, Phoenix, or in general? LAX. LAX, not a clue. Out of Phoenix, it's basically all Alaskan Airlines. <laughs> so I think that might be your answer there. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not a hub, so it's gonna be a return flight to either Denver or. Uh, or another hub. Go to San Francisco. Um, I'm not doing a short out San Francisco. I like to San Francisco flight in a 77-9. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I realize I'm you're doing. I'm probably just gonna fly. I'm probably gonna just gonna fly to Vancouver, uh, fly back, do LAX to either Chicago or Fair or Newark. Uh, that's probably because I'm also gonna be getting Newark next week. That's fair. Um, oh, Newark is gorgeous. Just so expensive. After Newark, I'm thinking. I'm gonna go look at the other. Miami's the hub for United, so probably Miami. The Miami back to Denver. How much further is the range of a 900 ER compared to a normal 900 without its cellular fuel tanks? I think it's like an extra 800 nautical miles or some shit. Fuck, is that how much? Maybe like 500 to 800. Foul. It's about the difference between the 900 ER and the 900 was such the obstacle tanks. We're going to be taking the time to get all of our plug in information for Las Vegas. It's going to be a final course heading of 259 ILS 11150. Still no control on in the region, unfortunately. We're going to do 3800 on the MCP. Shit, the bad one. Not bring why is it not letting me bring down the altitude?
I told you about the... Yeah, I did tell you about the x point also streaming, did I? The what? x point uh, for the Gamma Key streaming. Uh, that's what they're planning to do? The way he said it sounds like a big yes to me, and... But the way he said it at the same time sounds like it's not coming for another, like, two years. Oh, you mean x Plane 13? Because it'll actually have to be a different game? Um, he said, now something, something that we have the flight model, the weather, where we want it. I don't know how they have the weather system right now where they want it. That shit is ass. <laughs> um, they said, we are, we are, uh, footage. 3D model and solid imagery streaming is at the top of our list. It's close to beta. Um, so that makes me think hopefully comes I'm really hoping it comes within the next year and a half because I'm desperate to fly the A C forty one Neo. I'm desperate to fly the A C forty six hundred. I'm desperate to fly the A C fifty right now. Oh, that's fair. But I just can't do it. Because I mean the lighting is really good, but the airport touch quality and the general surrounding touch quality is terrible. I'm gonna send flight level three star. There's too many ones up here. Yeah, I'm shocked it put you so. What did it put you at? Three six, three four. Three six.
Bro, where's the feel good music on stream? That's why you're not getting any viewers. Dude, the feels good music is uh, non existent. <laughs> the feels good music. Yeah, low fee hip hop beats to fly three hour flights and uh, listen to ATC to. I don't know. Dude, just use the any build playlist. Bruh. Some guy made a playlist before the got uh, before the music and about to see for the trailer. It honestly sounds like a hype playlist. Any tunes? I am, you know, I'm really sick. I really hope that any boss is just straight up curves the ball with what they're gonna release next instead of releasing JFK and it's really supporting it. <laughs> like, <laughs> in my opinion, the, the JFK we have right now is, is good enough. I can hold on. I'm waiting a little bit longer. The LGA we have is not The LaGuardia good. is bad. That's why I said when you said JFK, I was like, I want LaGuardia. <laughs> like, um. I ain't come for no JFK. <laughs> Newark is closest to Manhattan, isn't it? Newark is the closest airport to the Manhattan Island. Yeah, and LaGuardia is a hub for America and, and what else? Uh, Frontier things? No clue. Frontier I've been to LaGuardia once thing, in my life. Well, obviously. I wouldn't want to be there either. I just want to look at the airport. <laughs> Why do you want to fly to LaGuardia so bad? No, 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 you don't understand. I'm flying there in sim. <laughs> it's the hub for Delta and American. Delta and American? So, yeah. so, and, um, I think Newark is the hub for both of them as well. Oh no, it's not. It's only for FedEx United. Mm. Not American. Not. I don't. Oh, for American. New York is totally cool airport, though. Out of the international ones. JFK is only cool for, for um, what is it? International flights. Yeah. Transition to transition. No, there's nothing in between. 
Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's like this. If I had to put it in manually, it's literally just departure, departure, arrival, and like two waypoints transition. Not even two waypoints. You just you just put in the departure too. Yeah. My frames will be better at Las Vegas than last time now that I downloaded a mod that removes all the goddamn uh, static. able to like reach your top of climb currently what do you mean like, my top of climb has been consistently like fucking 40 miles away from me even though i'm at 30,000, i just can't like i don't know master did you set the cruising altitude correctly on your upper map yes you you sure no i thought i fucking did this And that's why your top of climb just keeps getting further away, you dumb bitch. Yeah, dude. That was... that's awesome. Dude, ain't no way. It's just so awesome because on Simbrief it generated it at 30,000 and everything, and then yes, for some I reason know, it... I but I don't, I, don't, I don't know why, um... Gameplay. I don't think takes that into, the, takes that into account. Silver, so hey bro, you still in climb power. <laughs> How can you what? I don't even remember what I was gonna say. That's for sure. Oh, did you change your turbo and sudden, by the way? Do you still have it as a normal one? I have it at real Uh, where is this at? I wouldn't do it in flight, or you just gonna pause the flight. That's- oh, you're talking about in-game, yeah, I forgot that was an actual thing they put in the changelog.
test, test, test. Test, 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 test. Test, test. Test, 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 test. Test, test. tweak a thing or two with my audio, but I'm back now. And for those who are just tuning in, we are a little under halfway to our destination of Las Vegas International Airport shortly followed up by what will be Los Angeles International Airport where we'll wrap up the stream here today. For all joining with us, we are currently flying the Southwest Airlines Part 2 737-800. In the stream with me is a buddy of mine who is flying the 737-900 United Airlines. He is also en route to Vegas as well as Los Angeles afterwards alongside myself. Well, you guys who just tuned in, I just want to say thank you so much for hanging out. As it means a lot to me, and your support is always appreciated. I hope you enjoy the flight and enjoy the stream. I bet that fan helped a lot with my microphone right there. That was atrocious. I'm sorry to everyone who had to endure the Phoenix, Arizona weather with me. Alright, it's actually nice and cool out today, but that's besides the point. Oh, looks like we do have a Los Angeles Center who just came online, or I should so... We're good? Los Angeles Center. We won't need to contact him until the transitional point. In 126 miles. Let's go!
dude. I need one of those, like, blade silent fans. One of my stream gold blade silent fans so I can stream in the summer. Quick blade silent fan. What? You know those, like, blade fans? It's, it's, the, the brand is called Blade because they have no blades. <laughs> But it's like those standing fans that are just like holes and they barely make any sound, but they can work really fan? well. Yeah. You know they're actually louder, right? Are they louder, dude? I've seen those things yeah. before. Or brands, or at least plans as I'm like it, dude. And those things are quiet as fuck. It might be where it might be where the the they're louder further away. But from what I'm aware, the closer they are, sorry, they're quieter further away. But from what I'm aware, they are louder when you're closer. Oh yeah. But they're powerful, dude. They're not as efficient as a normal fan, but I will say I want one simply because it does not look like a normal fan. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing, dude. I look back at this stupid ass thing standing up and it's like, Ugh! Fuck, dude, I'm hungry. I'm trying to decide, do I just go for the food now or. What? I'm trying to decide if I just go get food now. Pull out the in flight tray that this thing doesn't have. Honestly, how do they expect me to do long hauls in the A330 if it doesn't have a pullout tray for my immersion? Anybody pull up get it now? We're about to be, uh... Probably still have another 30 minutes before we get to the train session. Oh, uh, let me check the progress page. It's the current time, 1849 Zulu, arrivals 1906. Yeah, it's a little under, like, 20 minutes. Sure. Nah, I'm chilling. I'm just gonna get it after. I can just eat and relax after I'm done doing everything. I don't have to worry about all the stress. Like, I've got the bomb. I've got so much stuff on my desk, it's just not even worth the time. Yeah, hopefully there won't be a sim update or something, you know, tomorrow that'll stop me from... Because I didn't want to start this late, to be honest. I wanted to have, like two or so hours after I was done streaming, so I could just relax and hang on, maybe play another game or something off stream, you know? No. But at this rate, I think by the time we get into Los Angeles, I'll probably have like 30 or 40 minutes maybe before uh, I'm gonna be hopping off. Also, how much fuel are you gonna have on arrival? Uh, our service is 3.6. Okay. Gaming. I'm gonna have like 5,000 kilos left. Or 520 kilos left. Like three. Yeah, taking our stroll through our 737-800. Okay, right here it sounds like scarily accurate. What? 
like that low engine rumble when because I sit near the back, like I said, right? I always sit near the back so that I okay. can have access to the bathroom. No, I just like the bathroom. Sorry, that's only on Frontier, Russian. <laughs> Southwest is much. Southwest is fucking sit where you want to sit. You can't be poor here. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me, yep, sorry, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, yep, sorry, excuse me, excuse me. All that effort for a wing seat and you can't even see out of it without pressing your face against the guy's seat in front of you. Air 18 Heavy LA Center. Hello, thanks for Echo. Would you like 24 left or 25 right this afternoon? Uh, 24 left. Green Air 18 Heavy, thanks. Push on to Kilo, approve tail south. I'd expect 24 left. Push on to Kilo, tail south. Green Air 18. Delta 2630. Sorry to uh, redo this again, but looks like Lindbergh has switched back to runway 27. Uh, are you able to accept the lucky arrival from your present position? Delta 2630, thanks. Clear to the San Diego airport via after uh, via the lucky what arrival after Momar, and you can descend via the lucky what arrival. The San Diego altimeter two better. Clear to the San Diego airport via after lucky the lucky one arrival, and descend via the lucky one arrival. Delta 2630. Dell 2630 reback is correct. Sam 840, depart Hutton, direct Zitem. After Hutton, descend and maintain 6,000. After Hutton, descend and maintain 6,000. We get the uh, phonetic connection. Uh, it's the Zitem intersection, Sam 840. Yeah. It's the initial approach. One of the initial approach fixes yeah. that's Zulu, India, Delta Oscar Bank. I was trying to get. I should let you die to match up on you from the What's the ATIS? It's the ATIS 840. You can expect the approach players prior to the uh, item. Alaska 562, descend via the Rockstar 3 arrival, runway 26 left transition, Las Vegas altimeter 2971. 2971 altimeter, Rockstar 3 arrival, 26 left transition for Alaska 562. What the hell is this game doing? Los Angeles Center, Arrow 150, Delta Echo, the French bell requesting IFR clearance to Gillespie. Arrow 150, Delta Echo, Los Angeles Center, good no. morning, clearance on request. Oh, so just goes from orbit and then down in front of me. <laughs> Fair wings 465, information, <laughs> Echo is, I'm Las sorry, Vegas. information, Delta is cleared at Las Vegas, altimeter 2971, at Prino, cleared ILS from lane 26 left approach. Let me try something. Uh, I pre-no cleared ILS, 2-6 plus. Oh, because it's going now, awesome. Yeah, because I reconnected. Bruh. <laughs> Arrow 150 Delta Echo, I show that you follow the Ontario, Ontario Papa 1-2 routing, and that begins uh, quite a bit ways northwest of where your current position is. Uh, so I'll be giving you vectors instead to join uh, the remainder of the route. I'll have your clearance here in just a moment, however. Frontier 1301, information echoes current for Los Angeles. Advise when you have it. Expect the Arna of Zulu runway 24 right from Dodger. Frontier 1301, information echoes current for Los Angeles. Advise when you have it. Expect the Arna of Zulu runway 24 right approach from Dodger. On a Zulu 24 right from Dodger, and sorry, say the ADA skin Frontier 1301. Uh, ADA Echo is current. Let me know what you have at Frontier 1301. Roger, copy that. We have Echo Frontier 1301. Arrow 150 Delta Echo cleared from the French Valley Airport to the Gillespie Field Airport. Uh, the uh, Renner Vectors 
to join Victor 186, Hale, then as filed, climb and maintain 5,000, expect 9,000, five minutes after departure, departure frequency 135.55, squawk 5317, hold for release. 150 Delta Echo is clear to collect DV at Raider Vectors. It's going to Victor 186 at Haley. Then it's uh, climbing team 5000. It's like 9000 and 5. The 1355, Squawk 5317, hold for relief. 150 Delta Echo. Do you 150 Delta Echo? Read back correct. Advise you have the one minute weather aboard for the French Valley Airport at about how long until you're ready for departure? You have the weather and give us about nine, 10 minutes or so for 150 okay. Delta Echo. Aero Zero Delta Echo, thanks. You can just call me holding short of the runway of your choice. I will call you holding short. One function Delta Echo. Sam eight four zero cross Zitem at six thousand cleared ILS runway one six right approach. Cross Zitem at six thousand cleared ILS one six right approach. Los Angeles Center, Kilo Uniform, Golf 121, requesting IFR to Denver. Kilo Uniform, Golf 121, heavy Los Angeles Center, hello, clearance on request, expect the PDC. We'll go handle for that PDC, thank you. Los Angeles Center, United 1947, uh, with, at, <laughs> oh my gosh, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Los Angeles Center, United 1947, requesting taxi. That, oh my god. To runway 26 right with information Delta. United 1947, LA Center, hello, runway 26 right, taxi via Charlie. What if somebody, oh my god. Well, taxi via Charlie, like runway 26 right, United 1947. Like, Sorry for that hiccup. He like yeah, started no recording that he was like east of some four, and then he was just like, oh my god. And then he was like, let me try that again, and then he requested his fucking delivery clearance. Alaska 562 information, Delta's current for Las Vegas at Preno. Cleared ILS from way to 6 left approach. We have the weather, and at Preno we'll clear to ILS 26 left approach for Alaska 562. And Alaska 562, when you're able, reduce speed to 270 knots or less. 207 or less for Alaska 562. Uh, 270, 270. 270 for Alaska 562. Thank you. Los Angeles Center, Kilo Uniform, Golf 121, ready to taxi with information Delta. Kilo Uniform, Golf 121, heavy way for United Airbus 320 to come out of the Delta Ramp Valley. Runway 26 right, taxi via Charlie. We'll wait for that United traffic, uh, taxi to 26 right via Charlie. Kilo Uniform, Golf 121. Los Angeles Center, Southwest 2997, IFR to Oakland, Ward, Ontario. Southwest 2997, LA Center, hello, expect the PDC. Something keeps appearing and disappearing from my goddamn uh, TCAS. Really? So I've had you on my LA TCAS Center, good day, Frontier like Black 2082, flying 330, next waypoint, Fox Road, Lima, Charlie Hotel, Romeo. Frontier 2082, LA Center, hello, radar contact, Squawk 1241. One two forty one Frontier twenty eighty two. Los Angeles Center Korean Air eighteen heavy ready for taxi. Korean Air one eight heavy runway two four left taxi via Kilo at Echo. Kilo and Echo two four left Korean Air eighteen heavy. Special aircraft landing departing Los Angeles information Fox shot now current wind two three zero at one eight gust two four visibility seven scatter clouds two thousand ceiling three thousand two hundred broken four thousand four hundred broken Los Angeles yeah, altimeter two nine or seven three a peak wind of two three zero like two six was reported time one eight one nine Zulu. Frontier 2082, descend via the cocktail one arrival, runway 26 left transition, Las Vegas altimeter 2970. Frontier 
Project here 2082, descend via the cocktail one arrival, runway 26 left transition, Las Vegas altimeter 2 banner 70. Descending cocktail one arrival, uh, QNH 2970, Frontier 2082. And Frontier 2082, just verify it's the cocktail one arrival, runway 26 left transition, 26 left. Got it, Cocktail 1, 26 lap, Frontier 2082. Oh, there's a contact me, isn't it? I was just going to say I want to check in with this guy. Alaska 562, reduce speed to 250 knots or less. 250 knots Russian, or less for last time. Zeppelis 1335, Long Beach reporting wind 240 at Niner, gust 16, altimeter 2974. What approach would you yeah. like today? Like the winds have changed. We'll have to go. Uh. Vegas information echo now, by the way. Zeppelis 1335, sorry, your transition broke halfway through. Uh, just what approach would you like into Long Beach? Uh, would you like the RNAV or would you prefer the ILS 30? That was the wrong button. 1335, since the winds have changed, we'll take the uh, 30 ILS. Mm -hmm. Zappos 1335, Roger, expect the ILS from late 30 approach from mids. Right, go Russian. We'll expect 30 approach, uh, 1335. Sam 840, wind 220 Shit. at 11, one, gust 22, two, altimeter down 2 niner, 6 niner, runway 1 6 right, clear to land. Frontier 1301, after Dodger, uh, cleared uh, RNAV Zulu, runway 24 right approach. After Dodger, cleared the RNAV Zulu, 24 right approach, uh, Frontier Flight 1301. You're good. United 1005, 1 Southern, follow us 3, sir, sir. United 1005, Los Angeles Center, hello, squawk 4522. 4542, United 1005. Uh, negative 4522, 4522, United 1605. Central aircraft landing departing San Diego. Information Victor Dow, current wind 190 at 10, visibility 7, scattered clouds 1100, ceiling 2200 broken, altimeter 2983, landing and departing runway 27. And Los Angeles Center, Southwest 3531, with you 20 miles east of the Bryce Canyon Bore, winds level, flight level 300. Zeppelin 3531, Los Angeles Center, radar contact, uh, Squawk 0662. And we'll Squawk 0662 for Southwest 3531. It's 105, radar United contact, 19. 16 miles south of the Bryce Canyon VOR. Second broken. American 1472, uh, information echoes current for Las Vegas, advise oh, what do you have it, expect the ILS runway 26 I think you said you guys me uh, radar contact 15 miles of the Bryce Canyon board. Because that's what I gave him as nav aid. Los Angeles Center, hold, uh, United 1947, holding short of runway 2608. United 1947, ensure your transponder is on. Wind 150 at 10, one 16, runway 26 right, clear for takeoff. 26 right, clear for takeoff, 1947. American 1472, information echo current for Las Vegas. Advise when you have it. Expect the ILS runway 26 left approach. Okay, we'll get the ADS and uh, expect 26 left, American 1472. LA Center, Korean Air 18 Heavy, ready to go, 24 left. Korean Air 18 Heavy, RNAV to Delray, wind 240 at 18, gust 24, runway 24 left, clear for takeoff. RNAV Delray, clear for takeoff, 24 left, Korean Air 18 Heavy. Air wing 465, established LS 26 left. Air wing 465, thanks, landing clear shortly. Los Angeles Center, Kilo Uniform Golf 121, holding short runway 26 right. Kilo Uniform Golf 121, thanks, hold short runway 26 right. Couple minutes for A couple minutes of a delay for in trail spacing. All good, holding short runway 26 right. Kilo Uniform Golf 121. American 343, information. A Fox Trout is current for Los Angeles. The Los Angeles altimeter 2973 at 
Sea View, clear to ILS, runway 25, left approach. All right, at Sea View, cleared ILS 25 left, approach for American 33. Runway two six left, clear to land. Clear to land, two six left, check the traffic, clear wings four six seven. Kill you to foreign golf one two one heavy, runway two six right, line of the weight. Runway two six right, line of the weight, kill you uniform golf one two one heavy. American one four seven two is information echo at Vegas. American 1472, thanks. At Prino, cleared ILS, runway 26 left approach. At Prino, cleared ILS, 26 left, American 1472, thanks. Center, American 20, we'll pay a follow through to 0 to 3, Donaldson, 1, 4, 000. American 20, Los Angeles Center, Air 150 Delta Echo, Fulton Center, everyone, with 18 hold for release. Air 150 Delta Echo, I'll be back with you in just a moment. Okay, no problem, 150 Delta Echo. CFA 40, welcome to the NIS, where do you park today? I just need to turn it off again. CFA 40, okay, taxi, Bravo uh, to the east ramp, we'll see you later. Probably you shouldn't think about the one, I don't have to do it. Thanks, you too. American 20, radar contact, 46 miles southeast of the Cayman VOR. Cross Petty at and maintain 14000. The Las Vegas altimeter 2970. Cross Petty at 14000, altimeter 2904, American 20. Alaska 562, 8 miles in trail of the Spirit Airbus. Wind 15010, gust 16, runway 26 left, clear to land. We'll keep, uh, keep an eye on the Spirit, uh, ILS 26 left to land, Alaska 66. United 1947, radar at contact 8000 indicated, Club 18, Club 330. We'll go up to 330, United 1947. Mm -hmm. Helio Uniform Golf 121 Heavy, wind 15010, gust 16, runway 26 right, clear for takeoff. 26 right, clear for takeoff, Kilo Uniform Golf 121 Heavy, thank you. Delta 2630, information Victor current for Lindbergh Field, advise that he have it, and at Lindy, you're clear for the localizer or RNAV for late C7 approach. Create air 18 heavy, radar contact 2000 indicated, climb and maintain, flight level 300. Flight level 300, Korean air 18 heavy, and uh, could we get a high speed climb? Creator 18 Heavy, high speed climb is approved. High speed climb approved, Creator 18 Heavy. Delta 2630 information, Victor Kern for Lindbergh Field, advised that he have it at Lindy, your cleared localizer, or RNAV, runway 27 approach. We have information, Victor at San Diego, and we'd like to take the RNAV Zulu to 27 Delta 2630. And Delta 2630, as previously stated, you are cleared localizer, or RNAV, runway 27 approach. Clear for the RNAV approach, runway 27, Delta 2630. United 1005, descend via the Chow 2 arrival, runway 26 left transition, Las Vegas altimeter 2970. Descend via the, the Chow 2 arrival, United, uh, United 1005. United 1005, it's the Chow 2 arrival, runway 26 left transition. Chow 2 arrival, runway 26 left transition, United 1005. Kilo Uniform Golf 121 Heavy, radar contact 5000 indicated, climb and maintain, pull level 390. Climb and maintain 390, Kilo Uniform Golf 121 Heavy. Frontier 2082, information echo is current for Las Vegas, advised when you have it, you can expect the ILS or RNAV, or runway 26 left approach from Bourbon. But he just got his clearance down into Las Vegas International. With information echo, we'll expect ILS 26 left, Bourbon. Uh, uh, Frontier 2082. Frontier 1301, wind 24018, gust 24, runway 24 right, cleared land. 24 right, clear land, wish you luck, Frontier 1301. I surely will. Remember 150 Delta Echo, thanks for your patience. The time now, 1911 and 3 quarters, you released for departure. Clearance void, to file off by 1925 Zulu. Report, uh, change to advisory frequencies approved, report airborne passing 4000. Please for departure, please put it off by 1925 Zulu, for continuation to approve, 150 Delta Echo. 
Southwest 1335 at MIDS, clear the ILS from lane 30 approach, Long Beach. At MIDS, clear the ILS. Southwest 2997, ready for taxi. Southwest 2997, Ontario, altimeter 2973, wind 270 at 8, runway 26 right, taxi via November. November 26 right, Southwest 2997. Southwest 3531, descend via the Chow 2 arrival, runway 26 left transition, Las Vegas altimeter 29 or 70. And Southwest 3531, descending Chow 2 with the ILS 26 left transition. Zero wings 465 at the exit right, cross runway 26 right, you can taxi Bravo Golf to the ramp on this frequency. We'll see you later. Cross 26 right, uh, Bravo Golf to the ramp, zero wings 465. Los Angeles wind 240 at 18, gust 24. Los Angeles center early 607, uh, about uh, 65 northwest of Shafter 510. How you doing, Nick? For and Elite 647, LA Center. Hello, Leo. Doing very fine. Thank you very much. You are radar contact as reported. Gentlemen, Center, Arrow 150, Delta Echo, passing 2,400, climbing 5,000. Arrow 150, Delta Echo, Los Angeles Center, Ident, climb and maintain 7,000. I then climb in 7,000, zero Delta Echo. Arrow 150, Delta Echo, your radar contact about two miles south of the French Valley yeah, Airport, 3,200 indicated. On your present heading, join Victor 186 and resume mode navigation, and 7,000 will be your final. I don't know, present heading to Vector 186 and 7th will be your final. Sure, Delta Echo. Beautiful landing, and then we'll be able to continue on our way to beautiful Los Angeles after a small break and a stopover in Las Vegas. American 1472 is fully established, 26 left, 6,500. American 1472, thanks. Landing clearance shortly. Watch out. Frontier Flight 1301 vacated too far. We're going to have to disconnect now. Thanks very much. Okay. Frontier 1301, have a great day, and we'll see you later. Southwest 2997, holding short at 26 right. Southwest 2997, wind 2808, runway 26 right, clear for takeoff. Oh, I over chilled my Clear for takeoff, 26 right, Southwest 2997. I'm trying to keep it cool in here because it's computer. Alaska 562 at the exit right, cross <laughs> runway 26 right, taxi Bravo to the ramp on this frequency. We'll see you later. We'll, we'll cross 26 right, up. Bravo to the ramp for Alaska 562. Have a good one. Thank you. American 1472, wind 150 at 10, zero, gust 16. Runway 26 left, clear to land. Runway 26 left, clear to land, American 1472, thanks. Central Aircraft LA Center will be away for about a minute or so. I'll be right back. And ladies and gentlemen, our top of descent here in the next 10 miles. We're going to be down into beautiful Las Vegas International Airport local time on a regular should be around 12.05 to 12.10 p.m. Beep, boop, boop. Master, why are you messing with the IRS display? 
because it's cool to see. Unmute. Oh, my bad. Yeah, because it's got just like the look of it. Central aircraft, Los Angeles Center is back on frequency. Los Angeles Center, good afternoon. Eastern 321, seven miles east of Mohawk. About an hour and 12 minutes in. Devil is 2997, radar contact 4300 indicated, climb an 18, plotable 340 unrestricted. 340 unrestricted, Southwest 2997. Eastern 321, Los Angeles Center, hello, Squawk uh, 2072. Squawk 2072, Eastern 321. American 1472, I think I did give it to you, but verify runway 26 left, clear to land. Hey, Fred, yeah, you did. Uh, we could land uh, 26 left, American 14, uh, 72. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of wind shift through 3 Frontier 2082 uh, at Burden, cleared about ILS, cleared ILS or RNAV, runway 26 left approach. Did I just say wind shift? Lot. Oh, I think Frontier 2082 at Burden, cleared ILS or RNAV, runway 26 left approach. And we're on the descent. After Burden, cleared ILS 26 left approach, Frontier 2082. American 20, heavy information, echoes current for Las Vegas, advise when you have it, expect the ILS from late 26 left approach. The pressure on board and expect the ILS 26 left American heavy. Oh yeah, we begin and got the set. Eastern 321, I'm not receiving your transponder, ensure it is on in mode C, please. Dodd. I think Eastern Dodd as well. Arrow 150 Delta Echo, the weather at Gillespie awesome. is as follows. Wind 170 at 15, gusts 23, visibility 2.5 with rain, ceiling 2100 overcast, altimeter 2978. Uh, you can expect the RNAV runway 17 approach. Uh, let me, yeah, you can expect the RNAV runway 17 approach from the 6 seat. Oh, we'll expect the RNAV runway 17 approach for Sierra Delta Echo. Eastern 321, I have you now, thanks. Radar contact two, three miles east of Bard. American 20, heavy, proceed direct Prino, descend to maintain 10,000. There are Prino, descend to maintain 10,000, American 20. LA Center, Kilo, Uniform Golf, 121, one, stepping away for about three minutes. Kilo Uniform Golf 121, Roger, let me know when you're back. Sir, I lost your way. 234th information, Foxtrot on board is requesting IFR to Al. I don't know how to say it. It's pronounced Albuquerque. Fairwinds 234, hello, your clearance is on a request. <laughs> what a legend, dude. That's the thing I like about Flight 7, dude, is that guy has no fucks in the world. He's here to do it, dude. <laughs> like, that's America 20. Can awesome. you spell out the Prino call sign? Because I don't have a map. Yeah, Prino is Papa, Romeo, India, November, Oscar. Prino. Zeppelis 1335, Long Beach, wind 240 at Niner, gust 16, runway 30, clear to land. Two four zero nine, clear to land. Thirteen thirty five. Remember zero Delta Echo. Proceed direct to six C. Cross the six C at or above. Oh, I lost it here. Uh, I'll have the approach clearance for you in just a second. But proceed direct to six C, please. Uh, four zero Delta Echo. Direct to six C. Zero Delta Echo. I remember zero Delta Echo. There it is. Cross the six C at or above five thousand. You're clear to the yard at runway one seven approach to Gillespie. All right, cross the 60 at 5,000, out of about 5,000, clear the RNF runway 17, approach, clear the takeoff. American 343, wind 240 at 18, dust 24, runway 25 left, to clear to land. 25 left, clear to land for American 343. A 
Lead 647 ascending of the OC2 arrival, the Los Angeles altimeter 2973. And the OC2297 crew at least this first time. United 1005, information echo is current for Las Vegas. Advise when you have it, except the IOS for the 26 left approach. Information echo for LAX 26 left approach, United 1005. Delta 2630, Kadek Lindbergh Tower, 118.3, we'll see you later. Over Lindbergh Tower, 18.3, Delta 2360. Merrick 1472, cross from 826 right, taxi Bravo to the ramp, remain this frequency, have a great day. 26 right, Bravo to the ramp, remain this frequency, uh, American 1472, have a great day too. Thank you. Center, good afternoon. November Tanko Zula Romeo is at uh, ramp 88 at Van Nuys with Foxtrot ready for IFR clearance to Billings. November Tanko Zula Romeo, Los Angeles Center, good afternoon. Clearance on request, you can accept the PDC. Clearance on request and PDC will look out for it. Thank you. November Tanko Zula, Zula Romeo. Frontier 2082, Stanley's localizer 26 left. Frontier 2082, thanks, runway 26 left, clear to land, wind 150 at 10, one guess 16. Clear to land, 26 left, Frontier 2082. Eastern 321, descend via the lucky one arrival, the San Diego altimeter 2983. Thanks for the pressure down via the lucky one arrival, Eastern 321. Southwest 1335, you can taxi to the ramp via pilot's discretion. We'll see you later. Taxi to the ramp by discretion. 1335, good day, sir. Thanks for the services. You're welcome. Uh, LA Center, this is Kilo Uniform Golf 121. The uh, pilot was incapacitated and the flight asked me, Kermit the Frog, to step in for the rest of the flight. Thank you. Oh, hello, Kermit. <laughs> Very good. Welcome back. Mm, thank you. Where's Miss Piggy? I love the U.S. I think Kermit's been United 1005, information echo is current for Las Vegas, except the ILS runway 26 left approach. I thought he already gave you that. Well, it's runway 26 left approach, United 1005, information echo. American 20 Eddie, instead of 189,000. Yeah, he already did it. I'm just going to respond. Uh, so I was like, I wonder if that was supposed to be for me, and then... Korean Air 18, leaving the airspace to the northwest, Oakland Center is closed, radar service terminated, change to advisory frequency is approved, we'll see you later. I think that was supposed to be Over to no, advisory, no, no, that's okay. Korean Air 18. Oh, you took my your Thank you. More You're likely. Welcome. We'll see. I'll call him by fucking what's it called if he doesn't give it to me. No, 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 I, I think he said, I'm pretty sure he said United as well, my call sign, and then, uh... When I'm pretty sure he meant to say yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Kedad 1947, leaving the airspace to the east, Denver Center is closed. Radar service terminated. Change to advisory frequency is approved. We'll see you later. We'll see you. Have a good one, United 1947. You too. Kedad 
Wow. Jeff Lee, 190 LA Center radar contact, climate maintain plausible 350. He got that? I think it's because we're too far. Alright, I just passed the chow transmission, so I think I'll probably get the call now if I'm thinking not already with myself. Dutchville aircraft time one nine or two seven and three quarters. Los Angeles Center will be sunny operations time two zero 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 Zulu. A little bit over one half hour from now. Okay, cool. He's closing in a half hour. Tragic. We'll probably have him for like Frontier twenty eighty two. The twenty six <laughs> left on Alpha six. American twenty heavy is seven miles from Prino. Cross uh, cross Prino at or above eight thousand. Cleared ILS from late two six left approach. Plus from out or above 8,000, because I was just about to pull the microphone. Frontier 2082 on Alpha 6, cross runway 26 right, taxi Bravo to the ramp on this frequency. Have a good day. Crossing 26 right by Alpha 6 and Bravo to the ramp. Thank you very much, Sam. Yeah. Stablo 3531, right. ADIS Echo current at Las Vegas, advise when you have it, expect the ILS runway 26 flush approach. And we're expecting the ILS-26 left with information echo on board for Southwest 3531. Southwest 3531, reduce speed to 250 knots or less. And we'll reduce 250 two knots or less for Southwest 3531. United 1005, reduce speed to 280 knots. At Prado, cleared ILS, I'm sorry, United 1005, excuse me, reduce speed to 210 knots. 210 knots. And at Prado intersection, cleared ILS from late 26 left approach. I apologize. Hi, Prado, Chair. I left window 26 left approach. Uh, reduce speed to 210 knots. United 10 says so. Five. Well, he told her 280. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> it's like, this dude wants you to right. zoom into Vegas. American 343, thanks. Cross runway 25 right and taxi Bravo to the ramp on this frequency. We'll see you later. Alright, crossing 25 right at Juliet. Bravo to the ramp. Thank you, American. Yeah, we're almost below 12,000 already. I realized that, damn. American 20 Heavy maintain 210 knots or greater to Larry and then 170 knots or greater to a five mile final. 210 to Larry and then. then I'm sorry, can you repeat that more time? Yeah, 210 knots or greater to Larry, American 20 Heavy, and then 170 knots or greater to a five mile final. So they're left to Larry and then 180 knots. Five mile final, American. So I'm having like a mega big Yeah, one seven zero knots until a five mile final, American twenty heavy. One seventy. One seven five mile final, American. Grand Control November Tanko Zulu Romeo at ramp eighty eight Van Nuys ready to taxi. Uh, November Tango Zula Romeo, thank you. Van Nuys altimeter two nine or six nine or wind two two zero one one gust two two. Runway one six right taxi via Alpha and Charlie. Runway 16 right, taxi by Alpha and Charlie, November Tango, Zuba Romeo. November 0 Delta Echo, let me know when you break out on the approach, uh, the wind at Gillespie. Uh, give me just a second while I pull it up here. November zero Delta Echo. I apologize. I had to pull it up from a different uh, different source. Uh, but the wind at Gillespie is one seven zero to one five gust two three. Runway one seven clear to land. I think that's part of the reason I don't want to go. Runway one seven clear to land. I will let you know. Port here Delta Echo. Eastern three twenty one. Information Victor is current at San Diego. Advise when you have it. And you are cleared for the localizer or RNAV runway two seven approach. Well, I'll be looking for the. We have information, Victor. Victor, and uh, we'll be looking for the two seven approach. Two two one. That was thirty five thirty one. Reduce speed to two one zero knots, and at Prino intersection, cleared ILS from eight two six left approach. And we're reducing speed two one zero, and at Prino, cleared ILS two six left for Southwest thirty five thirty one. 
American 20 heavy, wind 150 at 10, gust 16, runway 26 left, clear to land. This is okay, land American 20. Spirit wings 234 at ramp 58, ready for push. Spirit wings 234, push back, your discretion, advise and ready for taxi. Sorry about that, push out restriction, we'll advise for taxi, Spirit wings 234. No problem. All right, so you're Kermit the Frog here with uh, Kilo Uniform Golf 121. Would you like us to stay with you or transfer to Yukon? Uh, Kermit the Frog, you are leaving the airspace to the northeast. Denver is closed. Your radar service is terminated. Change to advisory frequency is approved, and hope you and Miss Tiggy have a very pleasant day. Oh, uh, thank you. Miss Tiggy is on United 1947 in front of me. Uh, thank you, though. We'll be transferring to Unicom. Thank you for the radio service today. Uh, oh, Miss Piggy's on the flight ahead, eh? Oh, okay. Well, enjoy your time in Denver, nonetheless, and we'll see you soon. Take care. Traffic. I love you, Kermit. Traffic. Oh, I love getting traffic warnings. Kirby! In the clouds, nonetheless. Eastern 321, I show you turning to the south towards Mexican airspace. Uh, say intentions, please. Eastern 321, we had a um, FMC malfunction. We've corrected. We're going to direct to Helix. Eastern 321, okay, roger. And then after Helix, you can descend via the lucky arrival. And you're still clear for the approach. Runway 27. We'll descend via the arrival and uh, clear for the approach to 7 Eastern 321. Senator of Amber Tango Zulu Romeo is ready for takeoff at runway 16 right at Van Nuys. Director Tango Zulu Romeo, thanks. Van Nuys, wind 220 at 11, gust 22, runway 26. I'm sorry, runway 16 right, clear for takeoff, excuse me. Runway 16 right, clear for takeoff, Amber Tango Zulu Romeo, thank you. Sounds good, I'm at 8.5. United 1005, your eight miles in trail with a heavy Boeing 787, Kasha Wake Turbulence, number two, wind 160 at 10, gust 16, runway 26 left, clear to land. When we two fits left, clear to land, United 10 so fast. That was, that was something false, huh? Yeah, I was like, you yeah, know, United 265 or some shit. Remember, 0 Delta Echo, uh, roger, fly the published missed approach uh, procedure. Uh, published missed approach procedure, Sir Delta Echo. Yeah, I'm apparently trailing triple seven. Hey, Deborah Zero Delta Echo, I just want to confirm that you did not see the airport at minimums, is that correct? We did not see the airport at minimums for Zero Delta Echo. Zero Delta Echo, okay, that's what I had thought. Uh, let me know Let me know when you're established uh, on the missed approach procedure and what, what you'd like to do next. All right, I will let you know, Zero Delta Echo, thanks. Yeah, no worries, thank you. Elite 647, John Wayne reporting wind 210 visibility 7 with light rain. Scatter class 2200, ceiling 2700 broken. Altitude 2975, so uh, what approach to 20 right would you like? Copy all in the RNP 220 right. Elite 647, Roger, after flavor, cleared RNN, Zulu, runway 20 right approach. After flavor, cleared RNN, um, RNP 220 right. And that's right, Clever is correct. The rubber Tango Zulu Romeo, radar contact 2300 indicated. You can turn left, direct B, show, resume the Harry's for departure, climb and maintain, flood level 410. Left to B, show, maintain the Harry's for departure, climb to flight level 140 for November Tango Zulu Romeo. I had rubber Tango Zulu Romeo negative, flood level 410. 410. Roger, 410, November Tango Zulu Romeo. Devil is 2997, leaving the airspace to the northwest. Oakland Center is closed. Frequency change is approved. We'll see you later. Deliver Niner 2107, LA Center radar contact. Climb and maintain 6,000. That will be your final to Avalon. 
Dapolis 2997, leaving the airspace to the northwest. Oakland is closed. Frequency change is approved. We'll see you later. Over advisory, see you, Southwest 2997. Sierra Wings 234 is ready for taxi to 25 right. Sierra Wings 234, runway 25 right, taxi via Bravo. Taxi via Bravo, Sierra Wings 234. Remember, Sierra Delta Echo, quad and maintain 5,000. Up to 5,000, Sierra Delta Echo, and I'm um, thinking we're going to head over to uh, Palomar. Remember, Sierra Delta Echo, sounds good to me. I'll have, that, I'll have a clearance for you to Palomar in just a moment. Dapolis 3531, you are seven miles from trail of a Boeing 737, number two, wind 16010, gust 16, runway 26 left, clear to land. And we've got traffic in sight, cleared for 26 left for Southwest 3531. American 20 heavy, cross runway 26 right, taxi Bravo to the ramp on this frequency, we'll see you later. Cross 66 right, taxi to the ramp via Bravo on this frequency, American 20, I'll see you later. The River Zero Delta Echo is clear to the Palomar Airport via fly heading 360, maintain 5000. This is the Palomar Airport via maintain heading 360 and five, maintain 5000, Zero Delta Echo. The River Zero Delta Echo, read back correct. Palomar Altimeter 2979, they're reporting wind 210 at 10, visibility 6 with miss, ceiling 500 broken, 800 overcast. Expect the ILS T4 approach. Oh, I'll expect the ILS T4 approach, Zero Delta Echo, thanks. Remember, Niner 2107, fly heading 290, when able, proceed direct Santa Catalina VOR. What is this crossed wind? <laughs> Normal. I'm not talking about my landing. What was your landing? Too much. Just like that, huh? Too much. Is he not going to give us charging protection? He He's at a 1005, cross runway 26 right. You can follow American to the ramp via Bravo on this frequency. We'll see you later. Cross runway 26 right, follow American via Bravo to the ramp. United 1005. Sierra Wings 234, ready for takeoff, you are right. Sierra Wings 234, thanks, RNAP to Docker, wind 240 at 18, gust 24, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 25 right, RNAP, dog, Sierra Wings 234. Wide slope, 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 wide slope. I lost like a hard landing. Dude, my frames are killing themselves right at the end. 30. Sure, buddy, reach back. I'm saying just watch the stream. 10. Director Zero Delta Echo, turn left 10 degrees, vector final approach course. Left 10 degrees, vector final approach course, Zero Delta Echo.
Mr. Wayne's 234 is rejecting takeoff. We have warnings in cockpit. Sir Wayne's 234, roger. Exit right when able and advise of your intentions when able. We'll advise intentions whenever and we'll exit when able. Sir Wayne's 234. Southwest 3531 on Alpha 7, cross from 26 right, taxi Bravo to the ramp, this frequency, have a great rest of your day. And we'll cross 26 right, Bravo to the ramp, thank you so much, Southwest 3531. Eastern 321, contact Lindbergh Tower, 118.3, we'll see ya. Over to Lindbergh, thanks for your help, toodaloo. Toodaloo. Now, what did Volanta take that as? 203 feet per minute. All right, what time is it? 12.43. LA Center, Delta 2054, and they're lucky you want to arrive a lot of thought levels through tree zero. Delta 2054, Los Angeles Center, good afternoon. Squawk 20, I'm sorry, Squawk 2142, 2142. 2142, Delta 2054. Why are you talking so fast? What do you mean? Like 20 knots, dude. Could have gotten much faster than that. I honestly don't know where Southwest Gates here. I've actually never fl I've flown um, to Vegas once. And the Charlie Gates. Everything from everything in the, the left terminal, basically. They said the Charlie Gates? Dope, thank you. Yeah. I think I just turned towards you. Charlie and, and non -movement. Bravo Gates. Oh, Delta 2054 oh, is radar contact 200 miles south of the thermal. Descend via the Lucky One Arrival, San Diego, Altimeter 2983. Bringing that APU Descend via the Lucky One, Delta 2054. Driver Zero, Delta Echo, to set a maintain 4000. That's 4000, sir, Delta Echo. Zero Wayne, 234, it looks like one of our engines failed on takeoff. Zero Wayne, 234, okay, do you want to go back to the gate, or what would you like to do, sir? Oh, uh, yeah, we're sure on the taxiway. Fairwind 234, okay, you can make a left turn on Bravo and then taxi Bravo back to the ramp. Wait, what the fuck? I don't think taxi this is some like US Airways fucking one right here. Dear River 92107, advise when you have the weather aboard for the Avalon Airport and what approach would you like into Avalon today? Uh, yeah. Number 92107, I'm sorry, it's not going to work, unfortunately. Uh, the ceiling is 1,200 broken, uh, so you'll need to either do the VOR or GPS Alpha or the VOR DME or GPS Bravo approach. So those would be the two instrument approaches. Let me know which one do you prefer. Take the VOR Bravo. Uh, number 92107, okay, you can expect that. I'll have a vector here for you in just a moment. Driver Zero Delta Echo is four miles from Escon. Turn left, heading 280. Set of maintain 3,600. It will establish on the localizer. Clear to ILS from 824 Palabar. All right, turn left, heading 280. Set of maintain 3,200. And the subject localizer, clear to ILS, runway 24, push to Palomar. Uh, zero Delta Echo negative, 3,636. Uh, 3,600 for Zero Delta Echo. Delta 2054, information Victor is current for Lindbergh Field, advise what you have at the altimeter 2983. At Lindy Intersection, cleared localizer or RNAV, remain to the approach. Okay, Yankee, and uh, Lindy either localizer or RNAV 27, Delta 2054. Can you repeat taxi instructions for Sierra Wings 234? Yes, Sierra Wings 234, it's a left turn on Bravo to your ramp. Alright, just probably to the rest Beautiful, beautiful Los Angeles. Center, Center, hello, American 1491, checking in about 10 miles north of the Grand Canyon view. Our flight level 80, mostly smooth. Merrick 1491, LA Center radar contact afternoon, Gary, and I'll be closing here in about 15 minutes or less. Heads up. Boo hoo.
Thank you. I know. I'm sorry. Short oh, session today. Yeah. I've got other stuff going on. I need to get some time in, though. What do you mean? Are you telling me about the your entire life? Uh, this is my semi-retired life. I'm sorry. Come train at the ABQ. I understand. Oh, no worries. I know, I know, I know. The River Niner 2107, fly um, heading 300. This will be vectors for the BOR Bravo final approach course. Uh, and I'll have lower here for you shortly. I don't know how long you need for a turnaround. I'm gonna use the restroom and. Really quickly, actually. I was just saying, I, I only need like 10 minutes, the 15 only, minutes max. The only thing, I don't know how long it would take because I wanna do a turnaround using the ground services so I can take a screenshot. That's fair. I'm re I'm reslotting just because I had some frame loss at the end there and I already, I, fi I generated my flight plan to Los Angeles and shit on the descent. So all I have to do is get the flight number and then edit the flight plan with that and then I'm good to go. And then, like I said, I'm just gonna take a stretch and use the restroom real fast. Oh, right. What was your landing per minute? Too much, I'm not telling you. Based. <laughs> and we'll do flight number 230. I'm going to death real fast. All oh, right, for all y'all hanging out, thank you so much. Oh, snap, Impact, I just saw you join. Radio's about three times louder than my voice. Yeah, dude, V-Pilot is hit or miss because it's like, here's the audio for this person, and then here's the audio for someone else, right? So someone will be loud, and then someone will be quiet. Like, I had to turn that guy down, and that wasn't enough, so I definitely agree with you there. Uh, I cannot place a coffee cup on the... The engine start switches, unfortunately. How are you doing, Impact? Thank you so much for stopping by, man. So let me get this flight plan in here. We are doing a turnaround flight from Las Vegas back over into beautiful, 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 uh, what's it called? Los Angeles International. So we'll go back down here, go over to our Las Vegas, and we'll actually come out of the same gate we did just for fun. Jeez, what was that, 23? Make sure we got the same aircraft. Open our sim brief downloader real fast and get the new flight plan. I'm good. Yeah. Uh, it's always, it's always like, I haven't been able to stream. Just life has been such a pain. But um, some recent stuff. I'm no longer actually on the flight sim teams anymore. So just like looking for jobs and all that. But I think I'm just going to try to pick up streaming full time, part time, another job. And then go from there. I am glad that you are doing well on this beautiful afternoon, as it is a beautiful day. The West Coast, dude, the West Coast is awesome. Uh, it doesn't seem like the West Coast is awesome. You saw the landing in the Vegas there, or at least the weather before I closed up, um, is pretty gnarly, to say the least. Um, we have, it's even down in Arizona, it's like windy and cold. Up in Vegas, it's up there. Um, it's all over the place. It's definitely windy, cool, chill kind of things yeah dude streaming is fun i think streaming is such a more like popular option nowadays i don't know just the way like the way the world really changed after covid i wanted to stream well before then i just never had the time now i have the time and i definitely have the reason to do so let's get this ported back into over here import our flight from simbrief it's going to be las and las vegas to los angeles with southwest flight 2530, I believe it was. It was either 2530 or 2360. Anyway, I gotta go back and file on the network, so we are 230. It's WA 237738. You've been on DCS today, enjoying the multi threading and all that that came out last week? It's been pretty nice. I have a 5800X3D, so I didn't get to notice it too much. But it's noticeable. The game loads faster. Syria loads faster. All of it loads faster. All right, let's get our flight plan filed. Vatsim network. It's funny, it's gonna be logging to Vatsim on the iPad. 
shoot. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this from my computer real fast, just because I do not feel like going and getting my password for VATSIM right now off my computer. Let's view this flight plan and we'll file it. We'll do that later. Flew some F-86. Dude, the F-86 is so much fun. That thing in the MiG, um, I fly a lot of MiG-19 over there as well as I'm trying to get more helicopter stuff done. That's what I also plan on streaming. It's going to be MSFS some days, Enigmas and Tempest some other days. Uh, it's definitely just trying to stay active. So much flight simming to be done. But yeah, dude, getting like 40 FPS. There was like one, I, it's like, even in mergers, I had like 30, 25 FPS. Like having like actual, like not as much stuttering in a, um, in a merge is phenomenal. And then we're down there at, sorry, my head track is like all over the place. Let me pause that real fast. Homeboy said he was getting off, so I don't think we'll have any flight coverage into Las Vegas, unfortunately. Uh, or into Los Angeles, as we did prior. Or that's not a bit of a problem. I'm death real fast. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start starting up and everything, Russian, if you're ready. Or, we'll just start, like, the pre-flighting. Oh. How long do you need? What time is it? 12.53? But yeah, no, the F-86 is definitely awesome. Uh, it's always been one of my favorite jets, although, once again, still a bit of a more MiG fan. Get this ground power on. Dude, I'm LARPing. Get our IRSs in, get our window heats on. Come down to our FMC. Pause in it. Okay, loss. And I'm actually are... letting this plane fuel cough up via the thingy, so... That's fine, it's that gives me time to that. talk and do stuff and all that. Alright, we're gonna request our flight plan in here, that'll load. The moment the guy in front is reversing his turn, the Fox 2... Yeah, dude, people reverse their turn and that's the only time that that AIM-9B is worth a damn thing. Oh, I... Ah, oh, I forgot to do that. Okay, I gotta get rid of those stupid stairs real fast. We'll do our perf in it real fast. Panel up here says we're going to be... Another flight level 30. Flight level 300. We'll do speed and all the other checks later. An airtime of an hour and 42. Okay, we definitely have to get this going along. Load, execute, 47. It says our trip altitude is 220. There we go, that's, that's correct. N1, take off, D-rate. Take off power, we'll do a flaps five takeoff again. I'm gonna have to redo the CG, and I realize that FS actions. Our payload is a gonna be. Why did I feel like this is bugged? I feel like this is what it gave me last time. Oh shit! Hold on, no, I just messed up. Hold on, I forgot I have to fetch it. Okay. Well, either way, we're still the same altitude, 53 minutes, payload of... How many passengers? 171 passengers today. It's funny, that says it's a 184, we can't even... What's it called? Payload is going to be... Sorry, zero fuel weight is going to be 61,000 kilos at 61.2. And our fuel is going to be six seven five two. Uh, 
There we go. That should give us what we're actually looking for. Now if we go into here, there we go. There's our trim values. We do a departure and arrival. We're going to come over to our tablet real fast. And the departure is going to be, actually we can do it up here. Do our departure right here real fast. Uh, I realize, make sure I... I gotta redo like the configurations in this thing. Just like the default stuff. All right, let's go back down here. So we are the radar, the Raider Two arrival or departure off of the Black Transition with a departure. We're gonna be off two six right. I think this American Airlines fellow next to us. Oh, you know what's so funny? Oh my God, my dude! Holy shit! Okay, so that's cute. We got a little. Let's go back to our thing. So we've got that in. Our arrival is going to be the so the Angel Four arrival with the Shatner transition. I'm willing to believe they will put us on two four right, and I'm pretty sure our transition is going to be like Cebu or some shit. Circus transition if we do it. Okay, Cebu is from Phoenix, so I'm used to flying. If I fly Phoenix, my home city, over to LA, I used to fly that. That should be that. We'll go back to our init ref in here. And there are our B speeds. Cool, cool, cool. That is going to complete that. I know Homeboy said he was going to get off, but I'm still going to request a clearance before I do, because I like doing my clearances. So we're going to go to 1355. I think Homie's literally on the sim for like another like 16 seconds. Okay. MCP, go up here. We'll put in this 250. We'll do heading once we get closer to getting off the ground. We are going to y'all damn near in English. Our engine electric pumps can't stay on. Circuit breaker panel. Cool. Let's go ahead and throw on our fuel tanks. We shouldn't have anything in the center, if I'm not mistaken. And I am correct, we do not have anything in the center tank. Go ahead and get this APU coming on. Oh, you know what I need to do? I realized I almost forgot it. Menu, FS actions, ground services, get rid of these stupid stairs. We'll keep the ground power card, we'll keep the chocks on. APU is coming in. I'm starting up my APU. Oop, I didn't end up there. I'm starting up the APU. Mine never started. Mine never got off. I I I restarted. I was gonna do a full turnaround, but my friends were still kind of mad on the ground, so I did a full restart. Oh. You're not gonna get better. Well, it's just flight camp optimization for the same part. I'm not gonna lie, man. No, no, no. I, I'm not even on the Tampa one. That actually reminded me that I didn't have it when I was landing. I saw how bad the fucking pyramid was. <laughs> All right, altimeters in two nine or seven zero. APU should be on and ready to go. We're gonna get that APU generator on. Get this ground power off. Take the cart away. Keep the chocks in just a little bit longer. Now that we are on our APU, we are gonna go VNAV, LNAV. Nope, not in. Sorry, we do not have the rest of our electrical power in. But like I said, that is our fuel. Blah blah blah. All of that in there.
which I'm on 13350, yeah. I think he's already gone, which is fine. Yeah, it's 2202. Homeboy's already gone. All right. We will continue our startup process, which is going to be... Let's get our push back in real quick and then we will begin to move ourselves towards I'm like the worst at putting in that that uh cockpit to ground. All right, I'm going to request our push back, 2970 altimeter down here. And... Did the winds just shift? Looks like our winds are still removed. good. We are cleared for start and push. Okay, cleared for push start. Please release parking brake. Parking brakes are released. And there we go, parking brake coming Commencing out. Push back. Oh, you can start I the still have the shocks in. Yeah, we'll start there in we the go. sequence. Shocks are out. Always fancy stuff. We're gonna bring that right engine in. Thanks for stopping by, Pac-Man. Appreciate you. We'll have to do some flying again sometime. It's been very, very long time. But yeah, you have a great rest of your night, man. Once again, thanks for stopping by. So appreciate it so much. Get that right engine coming in there now. set. Ground. You may disconnect. Okay, sir. Clear to disconnect. Pin has been removed. See you at the side. Have a good flight. That's Holding position waiting engine. for the visual. Thank you and goodbye. Uh, we'll pick something random. Electric power coming in. Cruising altitude is going to be 30,000 again today. Make sure in our cruise page that is actually the case because we didn't do that last time. did it backwards. That's funny, I did this right the first way around, and this time I did it backwards. So, that's lovely. And I keep...
is in. Oh, our left engine never... Oops, that's right. We actually never fucking... We never, never actually kicked the fuel up on our left engine. It's been power idling this whole time. I'm pushed back, by the way. I'm almost ready for taxi. I'm fucked. Bruh. You're a bruh. Why am I a bruh? Don't call me bruh. I forgot I had the pack on. F. And all the overheads are plugged. What's your V? What's your uh, V2 and VR, by the way? Uh, give me one second. Uh, V2 is 150, VR is 144. Damn. Taxi. Two six right. And Las Vegas traffic. Southwest two three zero taxi two five right. Okay, getting they like changed how these brakes work and getting them off are an actual nightmare for me. That's all I'm gonna say about that. United Hand so far passing through runway two six right via Bravo.
What? Did you just crash? Oh, never mind. There you no. go. You, like, um, flickered out no, for a second. No, so, the thing is, it didn't... For some reason... Also, you're taxiing on the wrong side, my guy. They've taxied here before. No. Yeah. They use a spot no. for overflow traffic. Well, there's no overflow traffic, guys. There is when United's taxiing at, like, 20 knots. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm coming in behind you up here, though, on Charlie 1. Is... Well, so me when Master wants me to taxi at a legal taxi speed. Okay, buddy, retard. 30 knots is not an illegal taxi speed. I do like them FSTL sounds. FSLTO. You cruise 300 again? No, three. Oh, yeah, sorry, 300. So I thought you said 330. Yeah, no, but I stopped because, um, when you disconnect the jetway, when you disconnect the jetway via push by toolbar, it actually doesn't close the door, but he fought it dead, so... Yeah, it's annoying. I had that happen once and one time to me. It took me forever to figure out what was wrong. I had to stop so I could close that. I see. You don't see if you're blind. Local time is... What the fuck is the local? Oh shoot, I forgot, I gotta put this back into my Belanta. Did you pre-file, huh? No, I pre-filed and everything, I just forgot to put it back in for my overlay. Can you place a cup of coffee on the engine start switches? You saw the Bruh. pictures, right? <laughs> yeah. Fucking spice job, finish. They all got suspended. <laughs> United 1075, lining up runway 2. Set right for immediate departure. Alright, here, flaps, ground, air, ground, blah 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 blah. Let's see here. Pax Research fans landing out the two. No traffic. Damn, you're, don't, you're telling me you don't do your pre takeoff checklist when, while still on the ramp? Bruh. I just do the final look over before takeoff. And Las Vegas traffic, Southwest 230 lining up 26 right. Nope, you gotta wait more. You can't line up yet. Some pitch. Why? Are you not off the ground? No. Sucks. Also, you're moving away, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip this pitch over and crash into you. Works for me. That's crazy. You're out of here, dude. What's the wind on takeoff? Because Navigraph was telling me we were taking off with the tailwind, and I feel like changing it. No, it's fine. Okay. It's, it's a crosswind. Crosswind to the, uh, what? To the left. And Las Vegas traffic, Southwest 230, departing runway 26 right. Rain. Spicy. 
Yeah, I'm throwing anti-ice in the air because we are definitely flying through anti-ice conditions. Try to leave them on continuous until we get to the clouds because of the rain. You might Obviously, be... think that's how you would do it realistically, but I don't care. Oh my god, the immersion! Let immerse. Let me zoom out on my iPad so the battery doesn't get all killed by Navigraph tracking it at like massively zoomed out. I don't think that's how that works, but okay. Dude, Navigraph eats my iPad's battery. I know. We pretty <laughs> gotta turn it off and it still eats us. It still eats! <laughs> like I actually closed it completely and it still just seems to be there. Navigraph has a fucking virus. Real sure. Honestly, give me a second. I'm gonna do my uh, airborne announcement. For a second, I thought I would have to delay your turnaround. Ladies well, and right? gentlemen, this uh, is your captain. Speaking. I wasn't given the VNAV now to actually go on while I'm playing. Dude, um, you too. It, it took it took so long for VNAV and LNAV to come in, even though I kept setting it on well after I applied electricity. Uh, what actually I had to do was uh, I, I think there's a different issue I'm talking about, but um, mm. what happened to me was that I had to turn on the autopilot, right? Then use the autopilot, the emergency autopilot disconnect, and um, then it can actually turn them on. Is it because of the turnaround? Whatever you did to disconnect on final, maybe? Mm -hmm. I think it's just because of the way the uh, approach mode is covered then. Or maybe you just have to do it like that in real life. I don't know. I'm not an actual 777 pilot, so I wouldn't know. It's fair. It's a pretty short flight. We got off the ground, what? It's. It's like barely 1 p.m. in Arizona. I've considered reinstalling GSX so I can do turnaround time lapses, you know? But, yeah. I yeah, can't wait to see how the next sim update, the last sim update broke GSX. <laughs> It's plus 9 degrees Celsius in the clouds. Okay, anti-ice conditions, my ass. No, that's still possibly ice I, I thought it was, I thought it was like, what, 5 to 5, negative 5. I don't know. Is it, is it just below positive 10? I mean, it keeps going. This place could fucking scale, I just keep it on. Yeah, that's fair, and through the clouds. So, altimeter 10,000 feet. There's more to ice in conditions than just the temperature. No, I know. The clouds, the dew point, all of it. Humidity. Humidity. Well, yeah, that's what I meant by dew point. Dude, I love the sunshade, how it slides around on the rack. Yeah, I love the fact that I can't, uh, I can't move anything? it all the way forward because of, uh, I have a HUD. I bet George Southwest staff can't afford that shit, huh? Uh, I'm on the newer, e I'm on the newer. One. If I fly the 700 standards or anything like that, then I will not have to hide. But if I fly the 800 e, um, newer or older, and especially the ETOS versions, these ones all have it. How do you know, huh? Look at like the configuration stuff that was available for some of those 700 sevens. And I was curious, because this, like I said, I downloaded it from JVation, so I was curious to see how much of his stuff he managed to get, like, correct, like, in comparison to True to Life, you know, with the configuration. Dude, love, Las Vegas is so beautiful in like Arizona. You can really tell the impact the entire nuking of Nevada had. I love nuclear weapons testing, don't you? They did it in New Mexico too. 
Actually, I think that's where most of it occurred was in New Mexico, funnily enough. Yeah, they but the meme, just... kinda, the meme was kind of about it on Nevada, to be fair. No, I know, yeah. I mean, they, it's not like they didn't do it once or twice out here, but they just did it in New Mexico a lot more back then. There was even less people living in New Mexico then. How's your fuel looking like, by the way? Um... Oh, you use this displays? Gross. Which displays? Those fuel ones say it's a total. The one that gives you a total. That one? I, I like a little bit more of a visualization. No, no. Oh, what uh, are you talking about? I'm talking about in the display, like the actual display, there's two modes. There's an old one and a new one. The new one gives you the total fuel amount at the bottom and gives you the three numbers of each. It doesn't have that, uh... Oh, you know. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I haven't gotten it set back up from, what's it called? From, um... Because these are new configs from the last time I flew, so I still have to get stuff was slightly tweaked up a little bit more. But I've been trying to run them, like I said, as close to the airline standard. I'm probably gonna do that. But gives me more like, diversity. So the PC is the old ILS panel. So. <laughs> what? Wait, so I'm not flying like any Air Maroc 737s. <laughs> what ILS panel do you have? Just give us the delay, so if you're looking at it, I need to wait stop. Oh, the aisle. Fucking, I'm so dumb, sorry. You. Why do you have your navigation display in the bottom, in the bottom, uh, view as well? I just, this screen doesn't have enough information here to be like, oops, wrong button. To be useful to me, right? Because I put this here, cool. What else can I put down here except for this? This is a waste of space. The hydraulic? Just only being by itself is a waste of space. I'd rather have the screen fully used up than just off sitting there. Does my hydraulics have more information than that? Tragic. I could have sworn mine used to. I don't know, man. This is poor people operations, you know, on the southwest. I guess traffic is clear in 487. Oh, <laughs> In United, we give you the true, the true premium experience. Just don't refuse when we, um... Yeah, just don't refuse area. when they want to move you out of your seat. <laughs> we'll beat the fucking shit out of you. We don't care if you're a doctor. Don't care if you're a family either. I'm pretty sure that was the United in 7 as well, right? With the family in Hawaii. I don't think I know that one. I just remember the doctor who got beat the fuck out of when I was like 16. Uh, what I remember is that uh, they had thought three tickets, right? Mom, dad, baby. Oh, and they completely broke them apart and tried to throw them on three different flights, right? I, I don't know what happened. But they like, tried to put the baby on a different flight. That's what I remember, I think, the synapses being. I do know which one you're talking about, though, actually. This sounds... This... It was, like, I think they were telling them to either put the baby on their lap, or they would have to leave. One person would have to stay behind, uh, obviously implying the mom or dad, not the fucking baby. Yeah, no, they leave the baby behind, dude. That's what I would have done. <laughs> Optimal. To be fair, you wouldn't have to pay for a child if that's the case, and you can just blame United for not giving them back to you. Thanks, United, for losing my child. <laughs> <laughs> I think tomorrow, depending on what's going on in Europe, I think I want to do a Europe flight since it's been daytime. Like I said, I, do, I did not plan to start this late. There wasn't supposed to be a... I mean, there was, but I was hoping that it would be after, to be honest. You know they do this at business hours, and you know what, like, business I know, I work are, for the right? company. Like, <laughs> I, I was really just hoping they wouldn't rush it. Like, I woke up... Th I literally went to bed on Reddit last night, and they were like... Blah blah, I was like, fuck, that's right, there's gonna be a sim update. <laughs> I know one thing's for damn sure, dude. Until like the summer, I'm about sick of flying westbound. <laughs> Bruh. Harder than, not, harder than I not. Yeah. 
be me on my way to fly at like flight level 240. Real? Whatever. Thankfully, the time to Los Angeles really isn't too long. It's literally like departure, transition to waypoint, and then arrival, and then final. You know, I thought United would have Los Angeles to Las Vegas flights, right? Because they operate out of Las Vegas. They have a, a whole um, terminal once the conference is. Mm -hmm. But um, they don't. They don't do Las Vegas to uh, Los Angeles, apparently. So. Chats. My immersion is ruined. Why would you force me to fly here? I actually was gonna screw you over and say I was gonna do like DCA, Charlotte, Atlanta, but then I was just like, whatever. I want to fly out of Denver anyways. It's been a while since I've done Denver, Vegas, and I wanted to go to LAX so my game could crash on final. I wanted to start doing more realistic ops with airline this way, which is why I've been, uh, I, I told you I want to do like three hour plus flights in the 900. I, I still don't know what I'm gonna do after I return back to LAX, maybe Denver again. Like I said, my streaming window is basically like four and a half to five hours. Cause I think every day this week Natalie gets off at like 2.30, which means she's back home by 3. So like I said, I want to be done with enough time to still hang out, relax, take out the dog and eat and stuff before she gets home. But also at the same time, like, I want to use up a fair amount of that time. So that's why I'm trying to start at like 9 p 9 a.m. my time. Hey, look, my cons. Yeah. Slow ass. I'm not even caught in for myself, apparently. That's awesome. <laughs> Batson just has a hard-coded control altitude. It's probably the... I mean, it's the engine valleys of the uh, aircraft of the terminal. The temperature on the outside, so... Engine values. You reminded me I need to plug in my stuff for... Los Angeles. Well, you know, the exhaust temperature values, whatever is set to the aircraft itself. So. Yeah. Okay, we're coming into the north runway. That's 108.5, I believe. That one I think I just know off the top of my head. I've flown in there so many times. The 108 or 109. Coming to the water. Uh, I'm inbound for 24 right, the northmost runway at LAX, and I didn't know that's uh, 108.5. I just need to remember the. Oh, yeah, the I'm minimums. 25. Uh, I'm a uh, 25 right. United Park something. Yeah, all my gates are in the north. Yeah. And by all you mean the single terminal? Dot A, I believe it's called. You say I'm hateful. <laughs> you park up. Okay, 322, once we get to our top altitude, we will put in our drop altitude. Runway is 128, 251, I, I want to buy a Bengarian one day. Yeah, I'm just going to have to start buying airports out of randomly. Damn, the goddamn salary imagery in Volantis is so old that a fucking LAN airline still exists. I don't like that. I miss that airline. Wow. I can love their livery. Air Berlin forever. Air Berlin forever. Air Berlin forever. It's fuck of Yonka taking over basically everybody down there. And after that, fuck Latam for merging. Yeah, what I'm say is, like, I think the only airlines I really know from, like, South America and, like, Mexico are, like, you know, Aero Mexico, Latam, Avianca. Ah, uh, there's one but more that I know. Not the small ones, like, full. I don't need this at Argentina. Aero um, Lunas, I say that the small one I was thinking of, thank you. Yeah, but other than that, it's basically the small airlines. It's not, not big. That's how Canada is. It's, like, Air Canada, uh, Rogue, and then it's GG. <laughs> Oh, and WestJet. I think oh, I might get Edmonton. Is, Ed is Edmonton, like, actually good? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, I think I'm going to get Edmonton then. 
After that, they're really Calgary and um, Winnipeg. I believe they're in the South. They're gonna do it at the same time. Uh, that basically will make it so all the Air Canada routes complete. Also, I don't know. Like, what are you gonna fly in Canada? It'll probably be longer. It'll probably be like Alaskan Airways route, like Air Alaskan Air routes where I can, and then whatever else. Air Canada. I know Air. Yeah. Could fly a chance huh? Oh, that is true as well, yeah. I'll probably use the WestJet 737-600 a little bit here and there. Okay, that's actually a fun... Mm. Is there a chance I'd operate the AC-20s? 737 oh, yeah, there's a reason for me to get back into the 700 as well. I haven't been in the 700 since the fucking 800, obviously. But, like, really since, like... I think... Yeah. That makes you so sad that a lot of me for AC-21. A large, like the only is it one meal we actually have, with, you know? Yeah. And not only that, I've actually considered buy, buying it or um, doing illegal activities that <laughs> I should not mention on stream, <laughs> um, simply so I can have a more accurate AC20 model. Because That's looking fair. at the 3D model of the Club Wire AC20, you know. Oh yeah, probably why I did a new AC preview. I saw that, dude. But it's so... Again, it's only a texture showcase. Yeah. Just, please show me this. TWS. I, TWS. I, I just, I just wanna know, will it have VNAV on release? Yeah, if they release an A380 and I have the hand to send that thing, I'm gonna off myself. Giveaway. Win a $100 store coupon, Master. Fuck you, call me. I'm gonna enter this giveaway. I'm... You should probably enter this as well. What's the giveaway? $100, or 50 or 20 uh, to flex some PF. Yeah. Dude, owning an AMD like build is so stressful. You smell smoke every once in a while. And you're like, dude, is my PC finally? <laughs> like. <laughs> dude, we're only 18 minutes into this flight. I love flying, like state to state. We're 18 minutes in, and we're already almost halfway there. <laughs> We're halfway. I mean, yeah. you're almost a TOD. TOD for me is like 25, 30 miles or some shit. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain from the flight deck. That's it. That's how you leave them waiting for more Russian. Okay, buddy. <laughs> I'm doing literally everything except the Discord bot so I can get as many points as I can. Oh, yeah, wait. You sent me this thing you said? I just like the just It's it literally oh, it's in the FSTO Discord or on the top of the website? No, the, the website, the website. Sounds good. Win 150 plus lifetime premium? Dude, no way. <laughs> Visit X Plane TO. That the fact that they had to make that one.
I'm gonna smoke a bowl and do this. It was funny. Discord has no. such interesting rules about like drug and alcohol use. No. Like you just can't be like stupidly like you know just it's the same thing as like working right in places where like like my old job allowed me to smoke and work and drink and all that right. I just couldn't come to work like unable to function you know. Yes, I know, Rocky. What is our... Let's go to the progress page. Los Angeles at 2107. Time is 2039. Legs... She wasn't even talking to me, she was just rolling around on the floor fucking around. Share this giveaway with the community, how do I do that? Just start spamming it in flight sim discords. Yeah, we're gonna go put this on Twitter. And then I'm gonna delete the tweet. Uh, I'm gonna mute my Discord mic, real, or not my Discord, I'm gonna stream mic audio real fast. But you get lifetime premium? Hell yeah. Yeah, I don't believe it, you're right. No.
Hello, hello for all those tuning in. My apologies. I am here. I was just doing something at my desk that I did not need my microphone picking up. Um, just because it's loud and annoying. But for all you guys tuning in, we are on the descent path into Las Vegas, inter or Los Angeles International Airport. Should be down on the ground in about 20 minutes, give or take. And for all of those of you who have stopped by, hanging out, saying hello, saying goodbye, I appreciate you guys stopping by as you are the people who do make this stuff possible. So once again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, and we appreciate you all dearly, very much. What's your speed? Because I realize I'm probably only like five miles behind you now. Mm, two five, two five nine. You're two five nine? That's something. Okay, I'm like two six nine. I'm two six zero, so that'll hopefully. Or actually, I'll come back two five five, so that gives you more spacing from me. There you go. I got all the entries but the loyalty bonuses, which I tried joining multiple other campaigns together and it's not working. I need that lifetime premium, bro. I have 72 entries out of 50, out of 5,382 entries. I don't know if those are actually like per person entries or like the you know actual points that you get that each kind of an entry, but yeah, you can get a maximum of eighty nine, eighty seven. I mean. Can you stop coughing, you goddamn stupid bitch? Hmm? Don't worry, I hate myself too. You're not special. I'm wondering if controls will ever improve past CCS controls. They have the best controls, in my opinion, simply because they last the longest. Uh, huh? No, uh, I was how far behind you are, me, by the way. My bad, Jesse. Uh, I had my stream mic muted. I'm about 10 miles behind you, Russian. Uh, we're flying into Los Angeles. Started at Denver, went to Vegas, stopped over in Vegas for about 10, 15 minutes. Plus the ground time, and then we are back up in it. And then once we get to Los Angeles, that is going to be the end of the stream. How are you doing today, man? Remembering that you have to, like, re-enable your microphone is so big brain. Enable my head tracking and it's gonna send me into outer space. Real. That's why I don't use head tracking. My trusty Xbox controller is all I need. What is the cloud settings? It doesn't look nearly as good as mine. Probably low. I don't think. I don't think I care much about the clouds as I do. Actually, no, that's not right. I think it's just bad game. Uh, bad I game have to or check. bad computer? 
definitely not bad computer rushing. Dude, it's so funny. Cookie wasn't gonna buy the processor. I loaded up MSFS and showed him my frames. He went out, drove to the store, and bought it. Bruh. And I have a worse GPU than he does. That was the best part. I'm doing all right. It's been a good morning. Been up since eight. I think early morning streaming is the way to go with me. With Natalie having her teaching and stuff, allows me to stream and then hang out and relax and do all that stuff that I need to do. Nah, no, make if she wants to hang out with you, just make her join the stream. Yeah, dude. She has to She's talk to you via chat. Do you have the weather for Los Angeles? I forgot to get it. If not, I'm getting it right now. Huh? Yeah. Um. Altimeter. Altimeter. Thank you. Three clouds. One dozen. Broken patch. Three dozen. Getting cheek ass boarding. Probably me running up in your ass. Yep. That's a guy to my left. That's nine thousand nine hundred feet below me. What? That's someone and taking out out of more work. than twenty nautical miles out. But okay. Um. Gusting to 24 knots. Ooh, that's... No. 24017 knots. 24017 knots. Nice. Yeah, no, I'm doing awesome. It is a beautiful, beautiful Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. It's even there still. Probably. Just one, I don't know. Just only one view. Jesse hangs out for a while. Jesse from Breaking Bad? No. Is that a Breaking Bad reference? No. That is indeed a Breaking Bad reference. Uh, when do you arrive according to your progress page? Last I saw, progress showed me 12.07. If we... Oh, well, we arrived near at the same time. I'm honestly going to try and set up for a parallel landing if you want. I mean, given the fact that I'm like four miles in your rear, I think it's very possible. Never heard of that one. Holy cack, haha. <laughs> what? You know, I think he's talking shit to whatever you said. <laughs> the Breaking Bad one, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I realize. To be honest, I don't think I've actually ever heard anyone say it to him, so as much shit as he's giving you, I've known him for like a year and a half longer, and I don't think I've ever heard it, so. Barely defensible. Oh shit, the FMC is telling me to retard. Why is it being so mean? I get that, Peter Griffin and Gryffindor when they hear my last name. Yeah, dude, I remember your last name is actually sick as fuck. The fact that it's Griffin, dude, that shit's hype. What was that, Russian? Hmm? Oh, below it. And we are turning on to... What is this? The approach pattern? Yep, there it is. The scroll? I think it's skull. Yeah. What's your speed? Because I'm like buried down on you. Uh, 259. You've been just 259 this whole time? That's what the VNAV is saying. That's insane, dude. It has to be at 280. Dude, I'm still above 12,000, Russian. Let me actually check my target speed. Something is not right. <laughs> yeah, it's mock 0.738 for our target speed. And I'm at 14,000. I'm at 0.53, 12,000. Oh, you're above me? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, my ground speed's 258. Well, given I'm about to hit 10,000 anyways, I'm doing a decel 250. Where are you? Below you, 1.7. So just don't fall on top of me. Dude, where did this happen? San Diego, except it was a Cessna? <laughs> what? I don't remember that. Remember the, what was it, American Airlines A320 that landed on top of a Cessna, basically? Like, you just straight up smashed him with the fucking the nose of the plane because they flew him. It wasn't if, uh, I know another flight like this, I'm not sure if you're actually... It was in San Diego or Santa Ana, Orange County, something like that. It was in California, that's the one I remember. 
I know what they're, you're, I know what accent you're talking about. It was small, uh, small, fucking like uh, twin engine, uh, either turbo prop or prop, and they. It was just sitting on the active, I believe. I don't know if I remember why. What no, no, no. I said landed on. This happened at like 13,000 feet. This was on like oh, the okay. descent profile. I just said landed on because GG. Flying southwest to San Diego in a few weeks. I'll let you, my pilot, know you say hi. Yeah, dude. Tell, uh, in case anything goes wrong on the flight, let them know that you can call someone who does virtual flight simming. Should, uh, help out just in case. Me on my way to incapacitate both pilots on my flight so I can prove to American Airlines that I should be hired by them by flying an aircraft in an emergency situation. Yes, sir. Yeah, dude. Uh, you going to... It's not TwitchCon. What's happening in San Diego on stream? You were talking... I can't remember what convention it was. Um, but I know you're going out that way. Los Angeles traffic. Southwest 230. School. Waypoint. Final. 24 right. Los Angeles traffic. Don't care. <laughs> Dreamhack and Rocket League Majors land. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't think I know what Dreamhack is. Oh, no, I swear. Russian, you're only like 700 feet away from me. If you throw off my whole fucking flight because of your you, you gas. You realize I'm in a different approach, right? Like. Yeah, I know, but what's the separation before? Be lined up, um, I don't know. I'm already at my own. I'm already landing up one way two six. That's fair. Just a gaming convention. Oh, okay. Well, that'd be dope. Where the fuck are the minimums? Uh, presumably they're the same minimums. Your minimums are about 322 and then airport elevation 128 feet. At the touchdown zone, of course. I'm I haven't at, seen you uh, play Rocket League for a while, Jesse. I'm at Lycan, by the way. What about you? Traffic. I see you're also lining up behind. Yeah, I just turned onto my waypoint final heading, passing 9,000. Played a lot. I mean, what you you hit what masters in like eighty hours or some shit? If you if honestly like you did that, there's no point to really play the game. Yeah, CS:GO, COD, predecessor. I have predecessor, like I got it, and then I haven't gotten around to playing it. I think I have flashbacks that if I get into predecessor the way I used to play Dota, dude, I'm just gonna like devolve. Real champion in ninety two hours. Yeah, exactly, dude. Ninety two hours on the game and champion. Like, I don't know why you'd keep playing Rocket League. That's the epitome of these guys are trash, dog. <laughs> Anti icing on. Let's see if we have our final speeds for approach. Too easy for real, for real. Should be on the ground here in like the next five, six minutes. We've got that weather coming in. It's not raining down there, is it? Do I need to go in the FMC and set like our wet, actual wet approach, like into the? And it's raining. That's precipitation. Oh. Uh -huh. Dude, how do you even set that? I know you can set it for wet takeoff, dry takeoff. Is that a thing for landing in this thing? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter. You just have 4,000 feet and plus, so. Yeah, that's true. It's Los Angeles, not fucking like New Traffic. Haven. Traffic. It's got 6,600, by the way. Passing 7 8. Same slow ass. Speed. 240. I'm letting the VNAV handle it. About like 2.2 miles your rear. United Sensor 5 on runway 25 right approach. We're changing the traffic. 26 DME. Yeah, my DME isn't there. So. I have my wipers on. 
Uh, you don't need them while you're flying. I have no my wipers more. on. <laughs> okay, buddy. I've seen people turn them on in videos before. Yeah, I know. It's awful. I, real life will spike them. <laughs> IRL. Oh, okay. The reason I understand why you actually don't turn them on is because, I mean... Would they the rip off? Push... <laughs> no, the water the water gets pushed away, right? Um, mm -hmm. It's more about damaging the, uh, the glass. I see. Alright, I'm manual speed control. Wait, how now. much of a DME are you at? Uh, 22 DME. I'm at 20. Yeah, I was about like 22.2 miles behind you. So we need to speed back ourselves. Oh, look at that rain. Look at that weather. We love the sun. Oh, that's two, three, sir, enough. My plane does not want to respond. It's taking a while to slow down, yeah. Take you down, flaps one. What's your speed? Uh, dropping to 225, passing 240 right now. I think it's taking forever to slow down. I can feel the LAX loading in as well. Real? I'm trying to look out my right window to see you, but uh... I don't see the poor people flight. Southwest Airlines is not the poor people flight, dude! <laughs> Southwest Airlines is for people who respect the, like, actual, like, availability of air travel. Poor people. It's so available that uh, you got a fucking left at Denver, isn't it, huh? I've, I've answered this so many times. Do not fly to Denver. <laughs> I don't know. United did find out of Denver. So did Delta. If someone stabs you. What's your speed? I'm at 210. So I'm at two zero zero now. Or she's fine at one nine five. One nine zero, I mean. I say I want to take one nine five. You might want to keep speeding up until you see me side. Oh, I see you right behind me. That's what I says. Like I'm pretty close to you already. Watch the birdie. Have you thrown on approach mode yet? No. Not in the area for that yet. That's what I thought. I, I don't throw on approach mode until like, what, like 8 DME, 6 DME? Once we're within the localizer zone. <laughs> Flaps 2, auto break 2. Now I'm entered approach mode. Command 2, auto pilot in name order. Going to my Volantis so I can upload a screenshot. It's more important than flying right now. If you look at my Volantis, I think you'll see the screenshot. Yeah, I'll me. probably see a pop up like instantly. Do you see me in front of me? Oh, they, oh, yeah, you're actually close as hell. Los Angeles traffic southwest 230, 10 mile uh, DME for runway 24 right. Okay, slowing down to 150. Yeah, I'm going down to reference speed as well right now. And flaps coming down to 30. So it's flat stowed. What's your VRAF? VRAF is one five zero. And we are glass localizer captured. Wait, one five zero? 
Yeah, one point zero. I think my plane's heavier than yours on fuel, because you gotta remember I'm landing with like four point two kilos right here. Yeah, I have two thousand kilos in each tank, twenty one. I don't check lights, landing lights when we turn off, so yeah. Okay, so down to final weaver, speed 143 knots. United, uh, turn 05 on short final for one way 258, we'll change its traffic. I don't see you anymore. Yeah, I like lost you somehow. I oh, I got eyes on you actually. You're coming right over the fucking. I know where you are. Jesus Christ, this boss one. And Los Angeles traffic, Southwest 230, 3 mile final, runway 24 right. Oh, there's a plane landing up, but there's a plane uh, holding short over here. Is that a 7 5? That looks like a 7 or 5. Uh, no. Oops. It throws me off how plane. long this flight is when I play it, dude. Landed really hard again. I, I need to remember this point is so long that the, you know, the... The flare zone is smaller. No, it's not flare zone. That the, uh, I need to flare a lot earlier because the cockpit is a lot higher up when you're flaring. I hate landing in LAX. I hate landing in LAX. United ten to five, that's something one way two six two five right, the uh Bravo seven. One hundred. A little high on the approach, a little bit of a tragedy. Thirty. Ten. United ten to five, clear from way two five right. Oh my god, I forgot how tall that gate was. <laughs> Nose into the ground, descend past 100 knots. 90 knots. Manual braking. And reverse your stowed, and we're on the off speed. Or the high speed. And Los Angeles traffic, Southwest 230 clear, it's 24 right by uh, Alpha Alpha. And we are going to sit here for a second and clear up all of this shit. Bring our flaps all the way back in. Back out, baby, take off. Uh, I have yet to see anything shot. Yes. Oh, yeah. Take off. What the fuck, dude? I don't know. It's like, I wonder. Does stuff feel like laggy for you? Like the Vatsim traffic? No. Okay, I wonder if this would be a server thing. Figure that it out. is a United 75, by the way. Oh, dope. And Los Angeles traffic. Southwest 230 crossing 24 left. Alpha Alpha taxi going red. And we're going to throw the APU on. That thing started up. Local time is 12.08 with a flight time of just 50 minutes. We like that. We'll go ahead and get our feet permitted here once we are onto Alpha Alpha and got our lights stowed. Sorry, on to Echo, got our light stood, which we are now. Okay. 
best thing about any scenery has to be that like it, it's like I love the elevation changes. 60 feet per minute harder than in Vegas. You know, that's one of the other things that made uh, a twin more popular than the T3D and that's the set back at the time is that uh, a twin was the only one that actually offered um runway set with actually, you know, what's it called? That would adhere to the terrain. Really? How did Pretty I know think Alaskan time? Airlines? Taxi line there. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome down into beautiful, beautiful. I wonder if Los they actually Angeles do make JFK how much Airport. fucking interior stuff we'll have. Even though I'm turning off the seatbelt sign, please remain seated until we are at the gate. Until the flight attendants have disarmed the doors. Thank you so much for flying with us today. Thank you to everyone who came and hung out with me today. Came okay, chat. Jesse, if you're still here, welcome down. Beautiful landing. Beautiful, beautiful southwest. Beautiful, beautiful weather. I'm now going to send everyone over, though, as there are plenty more beautiful people doing a beautiful thing like this, just like me. Ah, yes, obligatory clapping from everyone in the back as the plane smoothly settles down in bright, clear, sunny day. We landed. Oh, my God. We landed. We're alive. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I am going to go ahead and send you guys over here once we are at the gate. That's uh, the best part of landing a plane is getting off the plane. We are going to speed up this taxi, though. We're taxing like grandmas. shoot past these multi-generosity things here with our Alaskan Airlines kind of back there in the center of the line. And we're going to take our beautiful gates here at the very end. The Southwest gates, as you know, are here at the back of Los Angeles International Airport. The only benefit is the in and out, as you can see there in the distance. My LD is a truck. Okay, i got to fix some settings. I don't know what the hell is that? Okay, there's definitely some settings that need to be looked into. Oh, that's a new bug. I'm going to straight in park here right at 17 Bravo. For all you folks looking for connections to Hawaii, Narita, Japan, and everything. It's going to be a long walk through the terminal, to so the international terminal. But once again, I would like to thank everyone for stopping by. We're at the 73800. Can we get it on the line? No, we're definitely overshooting the line. Oh, no, actually, we may not have overshot it. No, we want to have overshot it. True trash need to Parking brake in. Engine's coming off. APU generators are on. APU bleed is in. Engine bleeds are coming off. Packs are coming off. Once again, just want to take the time to thank everyone who came by and hung out with me today. I really do appreciate you guys, as you are all the people who make this possible. I'm just going to do a quick shutdown to the aircraft real fast right here. And like I said, welcome, welcome down into beautiful Los Angeles International Airport. Oh, you know what's funny? I think since I turned off the electricity, I can't actually... Will it open the door? Tragic. Because I shut off the plane, which makes sense, but... Tragic. Okay, well, no one's allowed to get out. Anyways, guys, once again, thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I'd like to thank... 
There's a Jesse impact coming out, hanging out specifically. Anyone else who may have been lurking in the background, we love that dude. I love to lurk, always hang out in the background, support your local streamers, local lurk lurk. But like I said, with all that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and send you guys over to 757 Spy, who is a very well known MSFS streamer who is gonna be flying what looks like South America. So that'd be awesome. Once again, everyone, thanks for hanging out. You guys have a great rest of your day.